Welcome to Learn Golf with Cassie. Today we're going to do our video slightly differently from normal. We're going to go and look at a session from Cassie on the Rapsodo. I want you to watch it. We're going to go in slow motion and see what issues you can spot. And then about a minute later, after we've spotted the issues, we're going to go in and fix them. And we're going to see the difference and it's vast about how to fix those issues and the results that follow. Let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna do this really quick. If you look at that data, total for Cassie's seven iron should be around 145 and carry around 135 or so. She is miles off it with this data. And the question is, why was she so far from normal? So we've got the half decent shot here and uh, carry 125, total 135. We go in slow-mo, you can take a look at it. And the key is that right elbow, number one. It's a flying right elbow. Number two, she actually gets the club through the ball square. But look at her posture. Her hips have jumped into the space. So her arms are having to swing around her body. She's got it away with it on this shot, relatively so, because she's a quite a skillful player. But if we look at the very next shot she played, suddenly the speed has dropped. Smash practice has gone off the planet and carry only 94. I and mean, that's a huge difference. So let's have a look at this one. Same issues on the backswing, elbow flying, jumping up with the hips. But look at the club at impact. It's wide open and she's on her toes She's delivered all of the club speed already before she gets the ball. And it's a pop-up, block, spinny, right-sided shot. And that is the key. She hasn't got the club onto the ball because of the issue with her posture and invading the space where her arms should be swinging underneath. As a consequence, she's got to go round and either blocking or flipping. Okay. okay, thanks. So today we've got a couple of things that we're going to fix with Cassie. You'll see that there's a couple of issues we've got with Cassie. One is her grip has gotten too strong again. So when she gets there, if your grip's too strong, it automatically tends to pull you around and give you a hook because your arm will want to go back to where it hangs naturally and naturally is there. If you're there, it's going to turn and turn the club face. That's why she was getting the flip. The second thing is she was jumping and invading the space. This is the space we need for our arms to swing under. If, she, if you jump up, trying to get more power, your hips invade this space, and then you've got no choice but to go around, and that means you have to twist the hip because there's nowhere to go, or you get stuck and you block it out. And the reason why she was not playing her shots at normal distance was because when she got to here, her club face was wide open, or it was totally closed. She had to do something to fix this problem with space being invaded. So today, we're gonna to try and keep her posture and leave her that space. And the third thing was a flying right elbow. It was way, way outside of her body. And so it means there was a lot of movement in the swing. So we're gonna try and keep that right elbow nice and tight here. So we're gonna do a drill, which is just a half one. The same as we were doing last week, keeping that elbow in now. And we can actually put something under the, um, the arm here to keep it steady. I'm going to put a golf ball under here. If my arm flies away, the golf ball will drop. We're just going to do half a swing. Arms are going to drop, keeping this space back here, and then the shoulders and the left side drag together. This is what we did last time. So it's just going to be get a dead straight ball. So Cassie's going to hit a few which are just 
half swings, hands drop, turn together. We've got to make sure that the arms don't come out. They drop under the shoulder, and then shoulders haven't moved yet. The arms go first, and then everything goes together, and we feel like we're dragging the left side and the shoulders together round. We're going to feel like we're coming really flat, but in reality, the ball will come out dead straight. Let's see that from down the line. Check her grip, it's okay. We're gonna swing just a halfway, not releasing that elbow, keeping it nice and tucked in. Drop the hands. The shoulders have not moved. The hips turn a little bit. Get to here, then the shoulders, the left side, to the ground together. Now we're only doing half a swing, but we've got nearly all the speed, and now the contact with the face is square. It's not, this is the problem we had before. High right floaty. Now we're staying in that posture. She'll feel like her hips are really bad. Arms are coming under the shoulders and around. Absolutely straight. Let's see how Cassie does. It. All right, so Cassie's fixing her grip. Let's see what your grip looks like, Cassie. Okay, good. So we, we've got a bit strong again and that causes our flipping. We've done a video in the past on that. It's a nice shot. Good shot. So this is just the half swing, making sure she keeps her posture. And there you go, it's straight down the line. Now, in this one, watch Cassie's practice. As she drops her hands under her shoulders, her shoulders actually turn. So turning the shoulders, the hands drop, that is wrong, and that's gonna cause it to go to the left. So the arms drop and the shoulders turn as she does that, and immediately there's a left side pull. This one is a little bit the same drawing a little bit to the right. So that's something to keep aware of. Okay, so as you can see from this data, um, Cassie's carry yards has jumped up into the mid 120s to 130s, total as high as 135, 136. So much better strike um, following the drill. Let's take a look at a good one now. Okay, so let's see what she did in slow-mo. Keeping that elbow nice and tight to the body, pretty good. She's on plane on the swing. Trying to make sure she doesn't jump up and get her hips to invade the space, pretty good. And keeping the club square through impact, also a lot better. The dragging to the left is a, re a real struggle feeling for her, but she's in a lot better position here than she was um, in the previous set. So that's why we've got much better results there. And just one more to look at. This is nine iron. 
she hit this very well and she had the drag through much better on this one which was good so the form won't be entirely perfect but as long as we're getting closer to what we're aiming for the club face at strike is a tiny bit open but much more square than it was and coming through square and not flipping quite so early there's still a little bit of flipping there but the fixing the the grip and making it less strong has definitely helped on this Yeah, let's see if we can get this video up to 50 likes in the first week.